other one got smacked too. Did you just get hit too? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Hey, well, we just got set up here at the bridge, okay? Looking for these jack balls. That's our goal here. Of course, we want to spend the day doing some shark fishing at the bridge, but we needed to catch the bait, and there's no better bait than the jack ball. And they're just stacked along the side of this bridge here. Again, a little bit of an unconventional method trolling this bridge, but certainly a lot of fun. They're a great fish to catch, very sporty. Okay, and they'll range anywhere from 5 to 20 pounds. Very, very aggressive. Okay, and no bait. You know, it's all artificial lures. We're fishing these ocean-borne stick baits that are just incredibly effective. Okay, and they, they just perfectly mimic the mullet. It's absolutely amazing. And clearly, Michael's got our first fish on of the day, so hopefully we're off to a good start here. You know, these Jack Creval's very poor eating quality, obviously. I compare it to a Bonita. You know, the Jack Creval is the inshore Bonita. It's very, very sporty. It's a great fish to catch. It's a tremendous amount of fun on a wide variety of tackle. A lot of different ways you can catch these fish. Poppers, jigs, of course, bait. Super aggressive. Super aggressive, but an absolute epic bait fish, oh, you know? Oh, yeah, I mean, you can't... And yes, you're exactly right. Dude, oh, you got two. You got two. You got two. two. <laughs> <laughs> I told you these plugs work. <laughs> I hope you're out here. <laughs> Look at that. One of them attacked the front of the plug, and one of them got the back of the plug. How about that? You ready? One, two, three. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. That's so funny. So funny. Hey, let me grab a pair of pliers. You know, important to point out, this is a big bridge, six and three quarters of a mile long. It's a very, very big bridge. And if you're looking for these crevals, which is, a, you know, great for a wide variety of different scenarios, families, novice anglers, just looking to bend a rod, or again, if you're looking for them to catch bait for shark fishing, you can't just fish anywhere along the bridge. There's sand flats and, and really shallow areas in certain parts, you know, so you've got to familiarize yourself with the lay of the land for, you know, better or worse words. Understand the bridge, understand where those shallow areas are. It's a learning experience. I'm still learning it, you know. I've got a tremendous amount to learn. Just moved down here to Marathon, you know, not even five, six months ago. And again, so much to learn about fishing these bridges, but oh, very exciting. Oh, Jam. Oh, there's one out there. Oh, he came up with There you go. He's on. Right there. there you go. We're on. Absolutely <laughs> awesome. Hey, well, that worked out. Yeah. Double, oh, double, double bump. bump. <laughs> That one that came up was a big jack. Oh, really? Yeah. See if I can help All you right. out here with one of these. Let's double the hump. These things are so aggressive. They're like oh, uh, piranhas, yeah. right? <laughs> that right. first bite. Flip this guy in the boat. <laughs> All right. There we go. Look at him. He just clobbered that lure. Absolutely annihilated it. Now, obviously, if we were going to release these fish, we'd switch off to single hooks rather than the trebles and put J hooks on the lures. But we're saving these guys for bait. And there's that bait right there. There's that ocean-born flying wideback. <laughs> 